hello friends all of you must have known by seeing the title of this video what we are going to cover up in this video these are all probable questions and you all can say that this question is going to be asked in your first semester unit 1 protista para joa meta joa and porifera so the in this unit question number one is study of euglena viridis is my habit habitat structure locomotion nutrition respiration excretion osmoregulation reproduction insistment sensitivity yes abhaiga the next question is study of amoeba proteus is my be habit habitat structure locomotion nutrition respiration excretion osmoregulation reproduction insistment then last one is sensitivity then the next question is explain the life cycle and pathogenicity of plasmodium vivax then explain life cycle and pathogenicity of entamoeba histolytica the next question is explain locomotion and reproduction in protista protista ka locomotion and reproduction ko explain karna hai describe karna hai then the next question is explain general characteristics and classification up to classes of phylum porifera general characteristics classification and classes phylum porifera ka describe karna hai then the next question is describe kingdom protista its characteristics classification up to classes then the next question is canal system and spicules in sponges Unit 2 Nidaria and Tenophora Explain general characteristics and classification up to classes of Nidaria. Is my Nidaria ka general characteristics classification up to classes ko explain karna hai. In the next question, we have to explain about Tenophora general characteristics and classification up to classes. Then the next one is Obelia ko jo life cycle hota hai, uska metagenesis ko explain karna hai. Explain metagenesis in the life cycle Obelia. Then the next question is polymorphism in Nidaria. Coilenty rate which is any inverted rate of the phylum Nidaria. Formally coilenty rate. Having a sac like body with a single opening mouth which occurs in polyp and medusa forms. Coilenterates include the hydra, jellyfishes and corals. Then the next question is describe about corals and coral reefs formation. Then general characteristics and evolutionary significance of Tenophora. Unit 3. Platyhelminthes. The questions arises from this chapter are general characteristics and classification up to classes of platyhelminthes then the next question is explain life cycle and pathogenicity of facial hepatica and tenia solium you need four nemanthelminthes the questions arises from this chapter are describe general characteristics and classification up to classes of nemanthelminthes then explain life cycle and pathogenicity of Ascaris lumbricoids. Then the next one is explain life cycle and pathogenicity of Eugeria bancrofti. Then the last one is explain parasitic adaptations in Helminthes.